in this video we are going to talk about that what is ribbon chart and how it is more useful than column chart to analyze data trendings in the power bi so let's get start our video in the report view we have two charts the first one is the column chart and the second one is the ribbon chart so let's first analyze the data inside the column chart in column chart we have months in the x axis and cells in the y axis and we have regions inside the legend so we have four regions central east south and west if we analyze the first column of this chart then we can see here that the south region which has the highest cells in the month of january is at the second position and the same can be seen in all other columns it means that the column chart is not showing the right trending of cells with respect to months but when we analyze the data inside the ribbon chart then we can see the meaningful trending of data or cells with respect to months you can see that in the month of january and february the cells of the south region was at the first position but in the third month or in march the cells was reduced and got the third position similarly we can see the trending of east region with respect to months you can see in the month of january the east region cells was at the second position but in february it reduced and got the third position now let's see that how we can create the ribbon chart inside the power bi so let's go on the second page now to insert the ribbon chart in the report view we will go in ribbon chart and click on the ribbon chart here is our ribbon chart let's increase its size first now here you can see all the elements of this chart x axis y axis and legion in x axis we will add date we want the trending with respect to months so we will remove all other options for example we will remove day quarter and year in y axis we will add cells and in legion we will add regions so here is our ribbon chart right now it is looking little bit complex and not looking as we have discussed in the example so let's make it as it is as we have discussed so for this let's click outside this chart and insert the slicer now in slicer we have a single option with name field we will add date inside this field let's decrease its size right now we are analyzing the data for 9 months now let's reduce so now we have 5 months now let's click here and go in focus mode now we will go in formatting and turn on the data labels now you can see the trending of cells with respect to months more accurately so in this video we have discussed that how ribbon chart is more useful in analyzing the data in terms of trending i hope the explanation was easy to understand that's all for this video